how to add a customer support ticketing system to WordPress quick and easy. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to add a customer support ticketing system to WordPress. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you will open up your WordPress website that you have and you'll get to your main dashboard. This is the dashboard for a test website that I have and I'll show you how to add a customer support ticketing system. Now, as an admin, I want to create a ticket on my website for the customer support and to improve my customer support. It's really easy to do. Let's get into the process. First of all, once you get to the dashboard of your WordPress website, you need to go to the plugin section. Today, we will be adding a plugin. It is going to be a free plugin that will allow you to create a ticketing system, add a ticketing system to your WordPress. Go to plugins, click on add new. So right here, we have add plugins. In add plugins, we need to search for a plugin known as support candy. Once you search for support candy, the first option right here, the first plugin, support candy help desk and a support ticket system. This plugin adds to WordPress the features of a complete help desk ticket system. And you can see it has more than 10,000 active installation and is compatible with my WordPress version. So you're going to click on install now and then click on activate. I have already installed it. That is why it just says activate. So once the plugin is added, then you will be able to to find it right here so i'm gonna open it up all right so here we have the tickets you can see with this plugin i am getting ticket customers support agents custom fields ticket list notification setting license and add-ons so let's get to tickets and you can see here i will be able to create a new ticket to create a new ticket click on new ticket all right, so here I'll show you how to do it. First of all, customer. You will enter the customer email address and you can actually add more than one customer as well. Select the customer for whom you wish to create a ticket. Let's say I have selected this email address and I want to create a ticket for this person. Subject. So let's say they are having an error with the signing up process. So I'm just going to call it error. Error with signing up. Then we, we're going to be adding a description about the ticket. This is where we will actually add the details, why we're creating a ticket and what is the reason, everything. You can see we have the text options and then we have the alignments. We can also insert a link if we want and also upload an image. So let's say for now, I'm just going to write the word test ticket. There you go. And let's say I just wrote whatever I wanted to. I can also upload an image. You can see attach file and insert macro. So these are options available too. Moving on, we have category. Now this is for us and we can actually select a category if it's going to be a general ticket or if you want to create more categories for your tickets to organize them better or to divide them into different sections. For example, you have one category for the errors. You have one category for the new customers or anything like that. You can divide them into categories. Then we have do not notify the owner. I understand my personal information like name, email address, IP address will be stored in the database. I agree with the terms and condition. Of course, you will have to, you know, select different categories here and click on submit. Once you click on submit, then the ticket will be created and it will be added to your customer support. So I'm going to click on submit and you will be able to see. Let's see which field is actually missing. All right. Click on submit again. Perfect. So now the ticket has been uh, created. Thanks for reaching out. We've received your request. So this is what it will look like to our customer support. And now I have a ticket. If I go to the ticket list now, I'll be able to show you that we have one ticket which is open. It, this is the status. For that, we have my profile now. So this is my profile and I will be able to see the name right here. Click on save changes, enter any name you want to. Then we have agent profile. So any agent you will be assigning this a ticket to or if you have different team members in your customer support, you can add them right here and we can also create a signature for the email. You can enter just your name. Let's do that. Perfect. So I have added, added my name for the signature and then we can also select the filters, unresolved, unassigned, mine, close. I'm going to select mine because this one is going to be my profile and I will add it as my agent profile as well. So this is how you create a ticket. It's so easy to create tickets with the plugin that I showed you, which is support 
candy and you will be able to create as many tickets as you want once the ticket is created you will be able to see the category priority low so you can change the priority of course there are some of these settings right here once the plugin is created we have ticket status so if it's open you're going to select open or if it's closed you can actually change the ticket status from here okay so the status is open awaiting customer reply awaiting agent reply or closed so we're actually waiting for the agent reply here in category we have general and we can create more than one category as well in priority i'm gonna set it to high priority click on submit and your changes will be saved moving on we have customer so this is my customer right here this is your profile click on the add option to add the customer details for example if it's an existing customer or a registered user or a new customer so you can also this is where i said you can actually divide your customer and add a label to them so this is actually an existing customer again this is their email address click on submit and the changes will be saved then we have assignees so to whom you want to assign this ticket to I'm going to click on edit and assign it to myself or maybe to one of my agents. So I'm going to select an agent and this is why we want, we create agent profiles. That's what I showed you. So this is the profile that I created and we can also add like filter by, sort by, workload or name. We can do it automatically too. And then we're going to click on submit. So now this has been assigned to an agent, the profile that I just created. Moving on, ticket fields click on add it and we will be able to add different ticket fields to our ticket. So you're going to search right here and if your ticket is applicable for the ticket fields then you will add them right here and you can add like more ticket fields too. Agent only fields not applicable for now additional recipients. So if you want to add another recipient in your customers if you want to add like more than one recipients then you will be able to enter their email addresses right here all customer email notifications will be sent to these email addresses so if you have a team you can add your work email here you can add two agents here three maybe you have a team for this you will enter their email addresses right here click on submit and the changes will be saved so this is where you will be able to actually do a lot with the ticket that you have created you will also be able to find a history of what's been happening with the ticket you can see i changed the priority i then changed the status then we added an assignee so this is actually pretty good the plugin is really impressive and it is very easy to use so this is where you will be creating a ticket, a an agent profile, your profile, and then you will get your ticket list. If you want to delete the ticket, you can delete from here. If you want to duplicate, we have the duplicate option, close, refresh, or copy URL. If you want to share this to a team member, to an email, so you can just copy the URL from here. And then we have customers. If you want to create a customer list, import a list, go to the customer section within the plugin and create as many customers as you want. You can see I have created one customer for now, but you will click on add customer and you will be able to add hundreds of customers right here. Then we have email notifications and different settings. We have custom fields, support agents. Of course, you can add support agent list here and you can import from other platforms. These are the agents that I have for now just one profile that i added click on add new and you will be able to add your agents right here so let's select the role first maybe an agent or an administrator then you will select the user and you will enter their name enter their email click on submit and your new agent profile will be created then we have agent roles working hours and leaves as well and this allows us to manage the agents for the customer service then we have custom fields ticket list again email notifications settings license and add-ons that we can add to our plugin right here so go ahead and add the plugin support candy and you will be able to set up your own ticket system on wordpress website this brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.